Schools in Afghanistan are pursuing education after decades of war and repression. The process began after the 2011 U.S. invasion that overthrew the Taliban. CCTV's Courtney Body is in Kabul with this in-depth look at Afghanistan's education for women. The sound of the school bell was muted for most of Afghanistan's children and all of its girls during the long, oppressive Taliban rule. But since the fall of the Taliban regime in 2001, the international community has spent almost 14 years helping to rebuild the education sector, building schools and training teachers and supporting girls who were previously denied their right to an education. And it has taken the men, the fathers, to stand up for their daughter's right to go to school. Security is now better than before, so we are uh, trying to trying to admit, especially the especially the uh, the girls, because 55% uh, of our our population is uh, girls. So we need to educate. Education is more important for girls, especially for girls, if we wanted to bring up the capacity of this country. So we need to bring up the girls before. But it's not a perfect story of easy progress. Many schools are inaccessible due to the continued and possibly increasing Taliban presence in the south and east of the country. Other schools do not have teachers to teach, or the ones they do have are not fully qualified. And some schools are simply tents or classes held on patches of land. We cannot count like each year when there is a report by the Ministry of Education, they say that uh, more than 500,000 girls are in, new, uh, newly enrolled in schools. But they are, you will never will hear that the minister will say that to this year we had uh, 400,000 girls who sat back at school after grade six. Still not all fathers and families want their girls to be educated. Some are being taken out at puberty, married off young, or held back from moving on to a university degree. It's really unfortunate that some of our girls are not allowed, as some families do not allow their daughters to go to school. This slows the improvement of our society. We need to give a hand and try to improve society's education, and girls are an important part of society. With the youth of Afghanistan making up about 75 percent of the entire population, going from zero to three million girls in school is an impressive feat. Young women, especially in the urban centers, are working in banks and offices, and the lucky ones have traveled abroad for higher education and international conferences. There are strong female society activists and government leaders, and growing numbers are joining the police ranks. If allowed to go, the girls crave an education and know that being half of the population, they will be pivotal in developing their country. While great progress has been made in girls' education here, there is fear that as foreign focus and funds turn away from Afghanistan, that those gains could be lost. But the girls in the classroom and those that support them show a serious determination not to let that happen. Courtney Body, CCTV, Kabul.